Our Torah portion gains its name, Vazot Habracha, from the opening statement of chapter 33, verse 1. Let's read that opening pasuk, okay? In Hebrew, it reads, Vazot Habracha, Asher Barach Moshe, Ish HaElohim, Et Bnei Yisrael, Lifnei Moto. This is the blessing that Moshe, the man of God, spoke over the people of Israel before his death. In many ways, this is one of the saddest portions of the Torah. Moshe, the father and, if we could say, mother of the budding new nation of Israel, is about to die and to pass the leadership on to Yahushua, his faithful servant Joshua. Moshe has tirelessly led Am Yisrael through many difficult times, as well as provided a visible and necessary link between Israel's untouchable God and themselves. In fact, were it not for this most famous teacher of Israel, the nation surely would not have survived their exodus from the slave land of Egypt. I want to close my commentary by talking to us, talking to you, about returning to our roots. We have left the ways of God. We've walked away and we've abandoned God's ways. We have left the Torah behind us in favor of some new, as it were, newfangled, better way, being led by the Spirit, supposedly. Don't get me wrong, I'm not mocking. We are to be led by the Spirit. That's truth. That is true. But we are to be led by the Spirit into the Torah. Of God. It is the Spirit of God that enables us and empowers us to walk into the Torah of God. So, this final uh, paragraph in my commentary is entitled Returning to Our Roots. Our parsha has come to an end, but our study of the Torah should never end. It's a constant, ever growing, ever changing, ever challenging quest that we aren't to embark on. We are to study the Torah over and over. And I tell you what, every year that I study the Torah, every year I read it, I find something that I didn't see before. I discover new commandments that I'm, that I'm eager and, wa- and waiting and, and, and asking to walk into. Father, won't you show me how to walk into your ways? Show me how to, to, to serve you in new and exciting ways. I invite you to turn the Torah over again. Turn it over and over. You remember in the Parashat Shmini Atzeret, I'm sorry, not Parashat, uh, the commentary to Shmini Atzeret, we pulled a quote from Rabbi Ben Bagbag from the Talmud from Pirkei Avot. He told us to turn it over and over again, these words of the Torah. And that's why we cycle through the Torah portions year after year. I encourage you to do that. Start, start at, get into the habit of reading the Torah consistently, regularly. Read it with us. Read it along with, with the Jewish community worldwide. Read it along with us here at graftedin.com. That's why I provide these commentaries for you week after week. Start in Genesis right after the conclusion of the fall feasts and keep your pace. Uh, discipline yourself. Read each portion week after week until you've read through the five books of Moshe. Allow God's Spirit to write His words deep within the fibers of your soul. In fact, in keeping with Jewish custom, what I want to do for you is I want to recite for you the last few verses of the book of Deuteronomy here in our Torah portion. And then what I'm going to do is immediately follow those verses with the first few verses in Genesis. Why do I do this? Because this provides a seamless transition between the book of Deuteronomy and the cycling back around again to the book of Genesis. It's an unbroken study. We are not to put God's words down. We are to take them to ourselves. And as the Shema uh, uh, tells us, we are to study them day and night. And so... After I read the uh, Torah portion, or after I read these few verses, I'll have one more paragraph, and then our commentary uh, will draw to a close, okay? Follow along with me in my commentary. Um, uh, I'm about near the bottom of page four, okay? Let me go ahead and read the Hebrew for you first. V'lo kam navi od b'Yisrael k'moshe asher yada'o Adonai panim el panim. 
לכל האותות והמופתים אשר שלחו אדוני לעשות בארץ מצרים לפרעה ולכל עבודיו ולכל ארצו ולכל היד החזקה ולכל המורא הגדול אשר עשה משה לעיני כל ישראל. Since that time there is not arisen in Israel a prophet like Moshe whom Adonai knew face to face. What signs and wonders Adonai sent him to perform in the land of Egypt upon Pharaoh, all his servants, and all his land? What might was in his hand? What great terror he evoked before the eyes of all Israel. Breshit bara Elohim et ha-shamayim ve-et ha-aretz v'ha-aretz ha-ita tohu v'vohu v'choshek al panei tahom v'ruach Elohim merachefet al panei ha-mayim v'yomer Elohim yahi or v'yahi or In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth The earth was unformed and void. Darkness was on the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God hovered over the surface of the water. Then God said, Let there be light. And there was light. End quote. I challenge you to continue studying God's Word on your own. Or do it with the aid of a good commentary. You're, again, you're welcome to distribute mine among your groups, print them out, make copies of them, um, and, and, and study along with them if you like. You don't have to. Um, you are always invited to visit our website at craftingin.com and utilize all of the resources there. That's why we make them available for you. A weekly commentary is going to be provided for every Shabbat reading of the Torah schedule. I've written a commentary to every single Torah portion and they are available for you to download one of these days I'm going to compile my written notes into some some type of a um, of a devotional or a study guide and make that available for a, a, you know some type of a low cost um, I'm also going to compile the audio notes so I'm working on that maybe a book or something like that is in the future so keep praying for me and keep supporting me because I need your prayers and I need your support. Of course, you may also wish to consult other various rabbinic commentaries on these particular studies, the Parshot HaShvuah, the weekly portions. It's customary within Jewish circles, after the completion of a book of the Torah, to recite these words. Chazach, chazach, v'nit chazek. Be strong, be strong, and let us be strengthened. <laughs>